Yo, what's good everybody? It is Deltray. We are back with some more Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 on the last time we wrapped up Act 2. We wrapped up Act 2, took on our first Lukavi demon in a very, very long fight. I think I mistakenly said in the video it took me about 20 minutes. Uh, no, the first attempt lasted about 20 minutes, true, but the second one where I actually won took about 40 minutes. Now, before I just throw that out there though, I should probably mention the fact that I realized after the fact that both of my dudes had really bad compatibility with the boss. They had worse with him. So, in all honesty, that probably should have taken about half as long. 15-20 minutes tops. And I, I don't think that's too bad for a boss fight, honestly. Especially considering a lot of that is just me thinking about my moves as well. If I knew what to do immediately without any kind of reaction time necessary or anything like that, it probably would be about a 10 minute affair if my team wasn't set up in the way that it is. I kind of forgot that I would have worst on this guy with two of my potential damage dealers when I was choosing these zodiac signs and whatnot. Uh, this is the only boss that is like that though. Every other one will have at least neutral with or good or whatever, so that'll help out a ton. Again, we were having our damage basically cut in half with both Volanus as well as Butts, and that would have <laughs> that would have only exponented the process significantly had we been at least neutral, because he would have been doing 120. Uh, Volanus would have been doing 120 per jump, that is. Which is a huge difference, so yeah, <laughs> that one's on me. Hopefully you guys aren't too opposed to uh, including cuts like that, though, because the other Zodiac bosses do... I, I still think they do drag out more than that one. Potentially. I don't know. I <laughs> it depends on the compatibility, I guess, clearly. But I do recall some of them just having boatloads of HP. Boatloads of HP. And if, if we end up in a situation like that again, where I do not have the best DPS through circumstances kind of out of my control at that point, right? I can't just change my Zodiac side at that point. Uh, but if it, if it comes to that again, I would expect a similar style. Hopefully the point of the whole strategy and everything still came through clear. If not, please let me know so that I can improve that in the future, but... Somebody had also asked if I could go over the story a little bit more carefully because... This... Uh, they felt like this is about the point where the story gets a little bit more complex. And that's, that's pretty true, so... I wanted to take a second to do that just because I know some people are watching this for the first time and all of that. Basically what happened at the end of the previous act though is that Delito was positioning himself next to Goltana so that he could have influence over that whole campaign. We as the player already know that everything that he told Goltana in this scene was bullshit because we've already seen him working with... Oh, I almost said their name. Well, the faction that he's working with is called the Shrine Knights, okay? He's working with them. The Cardinal was with them, as well as that Vormap guy, okay? So, we know that Delita basically fed Goltana a crock of shit. That Gelwan guy might not have even been a traitor for all we know. The... The captured guy that he brought in was, more likely than not, a paid actor of some kind. Also, that Delita would look good in Goltana's eyes, basically, because he... In Goltana's mind, well, here comes Delita, he just outs a traitor among his groups, so now Delita looks really good. Delita looks really, really good. You know what I mean? And as for the as for the Cardinal and the Shrine Knights, they are... Well, we the game does explain it. The game does explain it, but basically, they're sort of right now a third party in this whole conflict. They're a third party, we don't really know what their motives are just yet. And Delita is working with them. Now, we do know that they want to get the Holy Stones, right? We know that much because the Cardinal made such a big deal out of that. We're not entirely sure why or for what purpose. And there, there is more to them than just evil stone. Like, there's there's more to it than that. And the game does get to that eventually. I, I, I'm trying to be kind of vague because a lot of this stuff is explained, but the bottom line, right now, Delita is moving himself up the ranks and we're not entirely sure what his ultimate goal is here. That's about where the story lies on that. With my jeans a little bit clearer, he obviously is the quote-unquote good guy, right? He's the hero. Everything that he is doing, we, we sort of understand why, because everything he said is just that. He's doing this out of a sense of justice. He's doing this out of a sense of pride for his family name, and he feels that the way his brothers are taking the Bayall family name is in the exact opposite direction of what his father would have wanted. So that's why he's sort of rebelling in this way. He's not working with them, but against them because he feels that their techniques and their methods are wrong. And as for the war itself, 
Uh, it, it's basically just Larg and Goltana. Larg we saw all the way back in Act 1, and now we're sort of seeing more about Goltana. They're just fighting each other for power, basically. And they need Ovelia out of the picture in order to even do that, because she is technically the rightful heir. They either need her out of the picture, or they need to be able to control her. Those are the only two options as far as these guys are concerned, because all they're concerned about is power. And we're not entirely sure why they want that just yet, but... Needless to say, they want to make some changes, and the only way that they can do that is if they're in control of Ivelisse as a whole. So hopefully that just about catches everybody up. I, I hope. If that wasn't clear enough, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to clarify. Uh, there was some other stuff that I did want to get to, but we can do that as we get into the gameplay. Now, I haven't changed the team just yet. We're actually going to do that at the start of the next one. Well, one, because I, I feel kind of bad for the guy who wanted Volanis, because he didn't really... <laughs> it was just like a punching bag for the entire act. Okay. And when he finally could have done some really awesome damage on that boss fight there, it turned out that he had worse compatibility. So I want to give him at least one more go, if you guys don't mind. We will do... Uh, we will switch over the names at the beginning of the next part. There's plenty of act to complete here, so don't worry about that. You'll get plenty of spotlight, I'm sure. We've got a bit of stuff we gotta do before we can move on to the next main map. I, I don't know how much I'm actually gonna show, because I am actually gonna take a side battle now for the first time. And... Uh, it's strictly so I can recruit a monster so that I can poach it. <laughs> You can't, you can't actually capture the monster I'm looking for just yet, but you can breed it by having a monster in your party, and they just, they constantly lay eggs. It's kind of weird they can do it by themselves as well. <laughs> Don't ask me how that works, man. I guess everything in this universe reproduces asexually somehow. Now, I've got a bunch of other characters. Again, these are just like senators or dukes, lords, whatever. They're not necessarily, they're not necessarily overly influential on the overall plot, but... The scene itself does kind of matter a little bit. 20,000 dead, counting both sides, that makes 40,000. Well over 200,000 injured just in our troops alone. Casualties aren't the only problem. I don't remember what Elmdor sounded like. Has he said a single line yet? I don't think he has. Food stock is short as we expected. The real problem is the drought. There's no food and tax revenues are reduced. Storage is at less than half. Larg's probably facing the same problem. I hear crops are ruined before harvest due to rain. More serious are those who made destitute by the war. According to Olan, more than 100,000 refugees have come to Lazalia. Haha, <laughs> good. Lago have problems getting food. This is no laughing matter. The same could happen here. Many refugees may come here. Should we start peace talks? I understand your concerns, but we cannot stop the war. We'll increase tax by 30%. Make sure no one trades grain at high prices. Also keep an eye on all refugees entering Limbury. Larg is in a difficulty too. It's not too late for a peace settlement. Enough, Orlando. A peace settlement won't occur. Our nation exists because of the people. We exist because of them. Farmers suffered the most in the war. Raising taxes would hurt them even more. Orlando is also, he's like a duke or something. I, I forget what it is exactly, but he is, he's important. Needless to say, the soldiers are also suffering from lack of food. He's a noble. I, I guess that's the best word to describe these guys, right? They're all nobles, because that's sort of the main theme. It's impossible to continue physically and mentally. Mentally? Are you becoming a coward? In the last war, we served by keeping Ordalia out of our land. Are you saying there's no right in this battle? Since when did you start talking about hypocrisy? You can't go easy on them. It's for the people. We can't allow a corrupt royal family to oppress the people any longer. We fight! He's right. Just a little bit longer before it's all over. I never expected to hear that from the one they used to call T.G. Sid. Thank God it's Sid, oh yeah. <laughs> a little longer. Where'd you get that idea? How can you be so optimistic? Are you blind? Your words are harsh. Enough. I'm disappointed in you, Orlando. Any more harsh words may mean your life. Y'all a bunch of bitches. I won't say this again. If any more of you disagree with my plans, go now. Understand, Orlando? Oh, I understand, all right. For Act 3, The Valiant. So Orlando's the greatest badass of all badasses, so I'm pretty sure he can just kill every single person in that room. Except maybe Elmdor, I guess. I don't know. 
I don't know, who do you think would win in a fight in 1.3? It's kind of a toss-up. Delita told me that there is a big tide and he goes against it. If this age of war... Okay, so you guys were telling me about the PSP remake a little bit in the comment section. Is this sort of thing fixed or what? Because <laughs> the text scrolling here, I, I just don't know. Did it really need to type out one letter at a time as if I couldn't read full words or something like that? I just don't know. If this age of war is the big tide, something... Blah, 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 blah. I, guess, I guess I can't read words. Now I head for Lazalia to tell my brother... Yep, so that's our goal as of right now. We're gonna go over to Lazalia Castle, see if we can convince our brother that this whole thing is stupid. Because, as Rams would seem to suggest, there is somebody behind this whole thing, and it's neither Log nor Goltana. We don't know exactly what's going on yet, but I have no doubt we will find out soon. So, there's a few things that I need to do, right? I need to do every single proposition that just opened up, which is going to be, again, every major city's gonna have one. Every city's gonna have at least one. And that's a lot of JP. I, I, I don't know how many cities there are right now, but that's probably about a thousand JP that I can put wherever I want. The other thing is that once you hit Act 3, the first shop opens up. And this is... It's worth explaining. So first things first, we need somebody with the uh, ability Secret Hunt. And that's gonna have to be somebody who has Thief Unlocked, I do believe. How, how did we even do here? <laughs> Not as well as I would've liked. So... <sighs> There's some things we could do to make this better. To make Monk for Jakes better, but... I don't know if we want to wait that long, really. So I guess we can think about that. Uh, so how much is Secret Hunt? Only 150. We're gonna need that, because this will allow you to poach it, essentially, and trade it into any first shop. And these will appear on... I believe it's every single trade city. If it says trade city, you can go there and... After poaching an enemy... Monsters specifically. You, you can't poach humans, I'm sorry to say. But after you do that, you can go to one of these trade cities. Where is it? There was another one. Yeah, you can go down here and uh, pick up a... You can pick up a special item from the shop. And in 1.3, they are almost all good to some extent. There, there's, a very, there's a very few amount of losers in the bunch, I would say. Um, and just for the record, I'm not like memorizing all of this stuff. I'm actually going to take the effort to link the resources that I'm using to plan this stuff out because I don't have every single little thing about this game memorized. Hell no. I'm a nerd, but I'm not that much of a nerd, goddamn. Oh, and please, tell me about how I'm a nerd in the Final Fantasy Tactics video you clicked on. Oh, please, oh, please. <laughs> but in all seriousness, there's, there's a lot going on with this. So for me personally, it just helps to have something handy like that so that I don't have to memorize what each individual monster drops. But I do need to go back to the swamp from this angle, from Goog, I think it was, so I can recruit a Marlboro. And I'll show myself doing that. We're going to need Secret Hunt eventually, and can Alicia get tame or what? I doubt it. Oh, it's a 400 skill? Damn, that's kind of, that sucks. I don't have anybody that can really do that. Hmm, well, can I can I get invite then? Because I need to I need to convert a monster for this to work because you can't find the correct tier of monster that I'm looking for. Again, we're trying to get the Mulbros, but I think I need a great Mulbro specifically. And I do not think they appear as randoms just yet. Yeah, she does. And she has at least 100 points, just barely. So I'm gonna pick up invitation. And she'll also need to be a mediator for this because talk skills do not work on monsters unless you have monster talk. But mediators have the ability inherently. So we're gonna pick up invite. Change her on over to a mediator, which isn't even a bad class to be. Do they have train by default or what? Uh, they don't. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna have dude as a mediator and... Oh god, we can buy holy! Finally! Finally! I need that crap. So there's holy, she's now really good. I probably want to pick up life. Possibly. Well, she doesn't need to be a priest anymore. Now she's going to start working on wizard, I think. We need five here, five here in wizard, four in time mage, and four in oracle for her to become a sage. And I'm pretty sure that we can just do that through, uh, <laughs> through propositions. So that's probably going to happen. She's probably going to become a sage really soon. I'm not sure if I explicitly mentioned this or not, but holy and dark holy are both completely unavailable, no matter what. Let's, let's make you into a knight. 
Just so we can unlock Monk. Ah, yes, and the Blood Sword. So, my man right here is gonna hit hella hard, especially when I give him this 108 gems, which, like I said, this is a really good item. It boosts every element. Every single one. So, my man Velanus here is gonna be doing over 100 damage. Easily. Just on a basic attack. On a basic ass attack. <laughs> so, that's pretty good. He'd be doing even more if he were a Geomancer or something like that. Uh, do we need the Holy Rope? No, not really. Oh, we had this before that last fight, didn't we? So, <laughs> this kind of goes into the whole gameplay stuff I wanted to talk about this time, but if I've led you guys to believe somehow that luck is the only way to get through this game, at least up until this point, at least up until this point, just know that that is not the case. It's most certainly not. I just happen to be using a pretty offensive strategy, and because I don't have a lot of defensive options since I didn't really gun for them, I need to make sure that my playing is on point, basically. That's just kind of how offense works in most games, really. Like, shoot, I remember, this is kind of a weird example, but I remember back in the day I was really big into Modern Warfare 2. Like, in the Call of Duty series, I know, I know. But I, I was really big into shooters like that, and when I would play them, I would usually try to rush and crap. And the reality is, if you don't know 100% of what you're doing in those games, you will just die because it's super, super easy. It happens really quickly, and of course, the, the penalty isn't quite as bad because you're right back in it in those kind of games, but... I don't know, it was just more fun for me to do it like that than it would be to just play ultra-defensively, and I'm kind of like that in just about every game. Oh, this is not the fight we are looking for, sadly. Yeah, there's a few different ones. Let's check these guys out, at least. This looks interesting. A lot of the uh, a lot of the random battles have been changed as well, so it's not just the storyline battles that have been updated for this. Basically, everything about this game is totally different. Every battle, every formation, whatever. I gotta appreciate the fact that they bothered to go the extra mile like that. Honestly, uh, what kind of gear are these guys rocking? So nothing really too special. They are all in dead. So Mastadi would have had a field day here had I brought him. I'm not gonna fight this. I just I'm kind of curious. Golemax is why. <laughs> Why? Uh oh, look out! <laughs> There's some interesting properties with axes that you can use, uh, but not her. Not, not her. Oh, is this an arena or what? Or is there just some random geomancer who controls it all? Yeah, as you can see though, a lot of the battles are totally different too, even the randoms, which is pretty cool. So what's, what's your story? Are they gonna fight each other or are they all fighting me? Because there are some battles where you'll kind of like run into two groups and they'll be duking it out and then you just show up and you're a part of it too. So it's like five on five on five basically. Doesn't look like that's what's going on here. Was his name T-Bone? Oh, T-Born. I, <laughs> I thought the bull demon was named T-Bone. That would have been too great. <laughs> okay, my bad. We actually need to come in from this way. I guess the guide was saying you need to be heading west, not approaching from the west. So that's on me. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. <laughs> God, if I was trying to speed run or something, I would never have that kind of luck. Yeah, look at this guy. I almost kind of want to get him because he has exceptionally high faith. Or not faith, I keep saying faith. He has really high brave for a ghost, though. You can also poach these guys, too, and they give you air knives, which are some of the best knives because they can be boosted by the 108 gems, and knives gives you a flat plus one speed in this game. So if you have, like, a ninja with two swords and the 108 gems, you can... You can do some really respectable damage, no lie. Uh, this is about the point where physical classes catch up, like, <laughs> immediately, basically, because you can poach a whole lot of good stuff, and, uh, you can, you can basically turn the tables on all the mages, because now physical classes can do some goddamn good damage instantly. Instantly. Only single target, mostly, but that is something to keep in mind. Okay, I give up on that spot. I guess they just got rid of it or something, because it's been at least ten tries. At least 10 tries at no Marlboro. So, we're gonna go for this one and we can get an Ochu, which works out for the same thing. What is this? This is like the first time I played this game, right? I, I made it all the way to Act 4 and I didn't even realize that this game had random battles because I just never got a single one. And now, of course, that I start looking for them, it's almost impossible. Oh, the Uribo, though. Wait, I kind of want him. I kind of want him, but I don't know if I can win this fight. I really don't. So the thing with these guys, right? Yeah, he's a guest, and I'm pretty sure you just get him if he survives. As in, isn't a crystal. But the thing is that one... Again, I'm not sure if I can win this fight, although this guy is making a strong case for himself. 
And two, I don't know if I need the item he can give me just yet. But these guys are really, really great to poach because they can give you the perfumes, which are women-only items. So, so hopefully I didn't make it seem like girls have nothing going for them in this game. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. We've been watching the same thing. <laughs> and the perfumes all have really, really good effects. Really, really good effects. And I think that you can even poach ribbons at this point if you really wanted to, which... I'm pretty sure that just like in every other Final Fantasy, they basically cancel all status. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, this game is not afraid to throw special units at you when you're doing random. So this lady is an astrologist, which is funny because uh, we'll be seeing that shortly enough. She is charging a galaxy stop, no doubt. Oh yes, oh yes, that's a galaxy stop. What does that do, you might ask? Well, you'll find out soon enough. This guy is just an oracle though. And this is a holy priest. Oh my god, it's Zalmo's class. Nah, we're not doing this. Nope. Holy shit. There we go. Finally. God damn. This took way too long. Way too long. Okay, so here's the mole bro that we need to capture. It doesn't really matter what tier he is. He just needs to exist, basically. Uh... Yeah, and honestly, this battle's so easy, we're probably just gonna cut to when I start going for invites and whatnot. I didn't, I didn't really change my skill set, because there's really no need. Really no need to change my skill set, I don't think. These guys are basically jokes. Now, the annoying thing is I actually can't use Volantis here, huh? Because they'll just... I'll just reverse the effect, because they're all undead. So that was a little bit unintelligent to me, I guess. Alright, cool. So the thing with invite, right... It's incredibly inaccurate. 7%, but we'll get him eventually. It is a little bit annoying that there's a bunch of undead and whatnot, but... I mean, maybe we even have bad with this guy or something, because that seems even that seems low for even invite. That's why I kind of wanted the train ability, because it allows you to instantly capture any monster if they are reduced to critical HP by your attack. You know, I was going to name this part I don't click Leviathan or something like that, because I'm not using Leviathan for the main fight. But it bears repeating that that skill is absolutely absurd. <laughs> There's always one ability though, right? There's always one move in a game that's just way better than everything else. And in this case, it is Leviathan, for sure. <laughs> At least for the time being. Now, it's not gonna fly for much longer, but... <laughs> that didn't take too long at all, sweet. Wow, we actually beat the... We beat the uh, potential revival. Now, it is only a 50% shot, so chances are, instead of dealing with like five of them, or like four of them when they came back, we'd only really be dealing with about two on average, so that's not really... I mean, you saw how easy it was to kill them when there are four, so let alone two of them. But that, that definitely saves me some time, to be sure. So we need this guy, and we need him to breed like crazy. <laughs> we need him to hit on all the pretty Marlboro ladies. Because... That way we can get ourselves a great Marlboro that I can then poach. And I think we even got some jobs unlocked in that. When all is said and done, right? Because we, we can pick up Holy, I believe. Yeah, we can get Holy. Which we're going to do for my G right now, since he really likes white magic anyways. Oh, did you get to level 5? You did get to level 5 as a wizard, so we don't really need you in this class anymore. Dude wasn't really doing much of anything there, really. Not JP-wise. Uh, Marksman. Yeah, we got Thief. And look at how much JP he's got already, just from all that spillover JP. He's really close to move plus two, which I'll probably want to pick up. It's literally a strict upgrade, so why not? Yeah, so now I'm going to go do all these propositions, and then in the meantime, we're going to get this guy laid. Be right back. I, I literally moved one tile, dude. I literally moved one space. Good God, what is this guy's game like? Holy hell. Yeah, do you see that? Do you see that? For a split second, you can actually see what's inside the egg when you do this. I don't know why it works like that, but it's just some kind of glitch. But you can see what it is ahead of time because you also have the option of just destroying the egg. I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of hardcore, man. We're just going to make an omelet out of this dude's kids. That's crazy. But I'm not sure if this is the right one or not. I can't remember if we're looking for the red one or the gray one. But we're looking for a great Marlboro at any rate. Finally, we can do this. Now, this is going to be super easy because... Uh, the random battles in the early game section of the map are all jokes, and I don't think any of them scale with your level, do they? 
No, she still has really basic gear. And I mean, they get better abilities and crap, but so what when your gear is <laughs> first tier, basically. So all we need to do is kill one marksman, one priest, and then we're gonna poach the hell out of that Grey Marlboro. And again, it is totally random as to what class that a monster will spawn. L like the monster that comes out of it, out of the egg is not predetermined, but... Oh my god, can we just end it? So I... <laughs> we have Mavenir as a sage now, right? And they are pretty crazy. Can I not hit this girl? 49. Where's the... Oh, here she is. It's hard to tell from their perspective. Now, I take it these guys don't have faith, or a lot of it anyways. 58. I seem to recall this being more accurate. Well, it doesn't matter. This is a huge AoE frog spell. If you get turned to frog, you may as well be dead. In all honesty. Uh, so, there is that. Now, the map is gonna immediately end. At which point, we can poach. Alright, let's see if this frog goes through on anybody. Hopefully the priest. That'd be ideal, obviously. But just the range on this thing is so absurd. Yep, there goes the marksman. The priest, of course, survives. <laughs> Why would she not? But it does not really matter in the slightest. Don't really care if she drops anybody. Doesn't matter. It just does not matter. But it's going to be worth it because we can get from him the whale whisker, which is the best rod in the game. Not best rod, but best uh, pole. Best pole in the game. And we want to get that. We want to get that because it's pretty good. Pretty darn good, especially for any magic using class, which we have plenty of. So what we need to do now is smack this guy around a little bit until he's low on health, low enough so that butts can just kill him. Of course he has a regenerator, which is pretty annoying. Yeah, that's pretty annoying, but nothing I can really do. Susan is screwed. Yeah, frog may as well be death. It's honestly worse than death in some ways because death can at least be fixed with a phoenix down instantly. Whereas this is just like, oh man, what can you even do? Because you can't use any ability other than the frog spell. That is the only thing that you can use. Uh, I mean, you can attack, obviously, we just saw, but you know what I mean. Frog is the only ability that you can really use. What does this do again? Oh, turns out there's into Marlboro. It's crazy. There's Butts, finally. Okay. So now we hit him. With the secret hunt ability equipped, and you can poach even your own monsters. Which is exactly what's going to allow us to go now to the first shop and hopefully get ourselves some really good stuff. It doesn't. That's the thing with axes. They do really random damage. Really, really random damage. Although, if you use certain abilities like Time Strike, it totally bypasses that. Which is why that Geomancer on the Gate of Lionel Castle was able to do like 200 damage or whatever to Butts. It's because if you use abilities that don't consider the randomness factor of your weapon, uh, you basically get all the benefits with none of the drawback. So that would be abilities like Time Strike or anything else that sort of charges a physical attack like that. But, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Ah, we didn't get it. But you know what? This is also a really, really good weapon. Really, really good weapon. As you can see, it has 16 power. And also deals magically based damage. The only real thing with this is that it can only be used at 3 range and no other range. But still, 16 power, dark elemental, so it can be boosted by 108 gems. And it has a chance to cast dark holy. 25% of the time, in fact. So if you give this to a class with really good magic, all of a sudden their attack command becomes beastly. Because it'll already do that 16 times your magic in damage that can be boosted even further by the 108 gems with a chance for Dark Holy on top of that. So really you can you can like hit for 300 damage-ish with this right now, easily. So <laughs> pretty good as well. But that's not what we're looking for. Hey, that took zero time. So this is a ridiculous weapon that used to be ten times more ridiculous as I understand it because it used to be compatible with the ability two hands. It no longer is, but 16 power, one to two range. There you go. <laughs> Enough said. It's pretty expensive, but more than worth it. Oh, shh, you, you can't see that. I'm playing this on a PlayStation. <laughs> I definitely didn't speed up through the battles or anything. No, no, no. Why would you suggest that? But at this point... I'm actually going to leave uh, some of the Marlboros in the party because, for one, they're okay as units. Oh, I should probably have left the higher level ones, huh? They're actually okay as units because Bad Breath is really crazy. And also, if I can get another uh, great Marlboro, I wouldn't mind having two Whale Whiskers, honestly. Uh, so, how good would this be on you? So, right now, if we had Muffin go for the attack command with the Whale Whiskers, she would do something like... Oh... 
172 damage, I want to say. 172 damage with the attack command. Broken. <laughs> but, I don't know if we're going to have her do that necessarily because she has really good AoEs still. Now, the Sage is a very good class. We already saw the Frog 2 spell. Huge AoE. Not that expensive. Relatively fast for what it does. And the Frog status is basically a good game. Sleep 2 and Confuse 2 are both highly accurate as compared to Frog 2. So these will be more like 70s, probably. 60 to 70. Even better if you have good compatibility. And of course, they hit multiple characters at a time. So really, you don't want to necessarily use it on one target, but rather multiple. And since the AoE is so huge, it should be easy to do that. And honestly, I kind of now see the utility of Zombie. Because uh, after Kecklin blew me away with Zombie into full life, it's something that I kind of want to try out, because that sounds really, really fun. And also they have the super broken damage split, which is, I don't want to say it's necessary, but it's a very good reaction at the very least. Something that you would want to get by the end of the game. Again, in case you didn't see the part where I was talking about this, it reflects half the damage you take back to your attacker, assuming that you survive the hit. And it also heals you for the same amount. So a very good ability that increases the survivability of any character and also deals damage in the process. Very, very good skill. It's very expensive as well. You see that? 800 JP. Now, dude, she is a Geomancer. She is so freaking close, man, to level 4 in Geomancer, at which point she will unlock Dancer, which is what we're going for. We're going for it, man, because it's a good, good skill set. Very good skill set. Uh, with this... Dang, man, I'm just three points away. I would much rather just simply have... Hmm. I'd rather her be able to use Geomancy. So let's go ahead and pick up Blizzard. And Gusty Wind. Those should be the two necessary for the next map, I think. Because it's going to be a lot of snow and a lot of rooftops. Now, we want to take Bellanus as well. Uh, right now, he's a ninja. Yeah, that's right. It is that time. It is that time. He's kind of slow, though, I'm going to be honest. But he doesn't have very many levels under his belt. If I keep him as a ninja for a while and level him up in this class, he will very quickly become one of the fastest characters I have. Unfortunately, he can't really do too much on support here because I'm going to need to switch him over to steel. We built up enough JP from the thief job class through just using it a whole bunch and propositions to buy both steel accessory and steel helmet. We already had Steel Weapon, and these three are going to be very, very nice to have on this next map. I would recommend getting them before it, because you're going to have the opportunity to steal some late-game stuff. IG, what do we want to do with you? Honestly, I'm thinking about switching him over to the Oracle. Yeah, he's going to go Oracle. And we'll get Butts back onto a more tanky setup, I think. And we want to stack the hell out of his magic. G give me a second. <laughs> no, let's do this instead. This is the best way, I think. Green Break is a little bit more speed. Uh, the Whale Whisker and all rods. No, I keep saying rods. All sticks or whatever. All poles get plus one movement at any rate. So he's got good movement. Uh, Oracle is a useful class. He can do a lot of damage. Both physically and I'm also going to give him white magic. So that he has some good range. Even better range really. His range is already quite good. And I'm going to buy Threaten for him. I think, or Not Threaten but Paralyze. Paralyze should be good just to get Don't Act if we need it. And he is going to be a force I have no doubt. With... Muffin, we are now going to give her the Mithril Sword. Sages can also use swords, by the way, so they have a lot of versatility in that, since many swords have good effects to them, uh, be it stab boosts or otherwise. If you're wondering where these magic gauntlets came from all of a sudden, you can buy them at the store now. They're in every accessory shop, and they give a flat plus two magic. Which is yet another reason that magic is kind of... It's, it's very strong. It's very, very strong up through... I want to say up through the midsection of Act 3, and then by the end of it, it sort of peters out. And then in Act 4, I want to say the physical jobs reign supreme, especially in the very late game. Speaking of which, I've seen some people asking if I'm going to be doing, like, the deep dungeon and stuff. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. It scares the shit out of me, I'm going to be honest, but I'd consider it. You can also start to buy some bags, but these are the really bad ones. Uh, these are for women only, and they usually have some sort of stat boost with them. Uh, in fact, there's one that gives three attack, but in case you were thinking, aha, so this is how you use Agrias. No, you cannot, because she cannot use her skills without a sword. So even though there are technically ways to patch up that weakness, there's really nothing to patch up Agrias, sadly. Now, here is a great map. I love this map. I really do. 
We kind of have a whole status thing going for this one. More or less, we have uh, both Muffin and My G who are going to be spreading status as much as possible, or just outright killing things if they get the opportunity. Uh, Muffin can't because I. Somebody had been asking if AOE nukes were really the only way, and they're not. They're not. I, again, I really do like sticking to more offensive strategies, but there's plenty of different things you could do with that. So we're going to mix it up here. We have uh, basically everybody exactly as I had described previously. Just, we're not going to be hitting Leviathan. That's, that's the main thing. But it just bears repeating. There's so many different ways to approach this game. Uh, the person that had asked that question specifically, in fact, brought up a really cool idea for a team that I didn't even think of. Where they, they kind of wanted to know if you could use, for example, a team full of snipers or marksmen or whatever. And I thought, man, that would have been so cool on the execution site. Because if you could have got on top of that wall, man, oh man, it would have been over. Because you could have hit everywhere on the map. And marksmen already have really good status skills and whatnot. So, yeah, there's plenty of different team structures that can work in this game. Without a doubt. It's more about making sure that they have some kind of synergy with themselves, honestly. And it might not sound like a team of five marksmen would have synergy with itself, but no, they definitely do. <laughs> the game the game even throws that exact situation at you later if you choose to go into a certain route. The main thing is just making sure your team has some kind of engine, some way to defeat the enemies, something... Uh, they just have to work together, basically. You don't want a situation where there's too many cooks in the kitchen where it's like, everybody's DPS, or like, everybody is this, or everybody is that. Because if I had, like, a team full of summoners or whatever, I would be screwed the second anything went wrong in my strategy, right? But, a more well-balanced party can sort of handle any kind of shenanigans and the like. It's kind of what I'm going for at any rate. But we'll see where that gets me. This theme is godly. <laughs> I love this map. Where? Where did he run? Up there, on the roof! <sighs> more ninjas, good, good. And more geomancers, even better. <sighs> Surrounded. I don't know who you are. Too bad you stumbled on us. Next time, put a sign outside saying Thieves Hideout. Haha! <laughs> Damn blabbermouth. Now give yourself up. No. Something weird's going on in here. <laughs> we have many visitors today. Let's get them all together. <laughs> Rums is just like, oh no, actually, I'm just passing through. I don't know this guy. They'll just clown Olin immediately. I'm pretty sure he could actually lose in 1.3. Not easily. Not easily. He is still a beast. Don't you worry. Do not you worry. Now, the one thing about him that sucks... Well, I, it doesn't suck. But compared to the original game, his signature move is nerfed. He's not even going to go for it. No, hold it. I just told the people you were good. He should still go for it because it is that good of a move. Come on, man. We'll see it. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> But this is another defense map. You cannot let him die. It's usually not a concern. Not really. So here comes a fireball. Yeah, they're going to start throwing crap at me. And because they can so easily get up on the roof like that, they have a clear shot. A really clear shot like that. I may have to pick her up. I don't know. It really just depends. She's not particularly fast in the slightest, so it's not as though... Oh, let's see it. Burning anger. Burst! I can't believe that hit me. Now, something kind of interesting about the generics on this map is that they are all set to have... I, I don't know if it's all of them, but I know that the boss is set to automatically have worse compatibility with Olin. And a lot of them also will have bad compatibility with Olin. Which is good for you because, as you can see, he doesn't want to get damage split or anything like that. Okay, man. But yeah, Virgo is worse with Cancer, I do believe. Are, are you going to make me a liar? What's going on? <laughs> I thought that they were said to have bad compatibility with him, honestly. Uh, it's not really good that this guy's taking so much damage, though, because I need to steal from him because he has this chocobo gun. Okay, first of all, Virgo to Gemini. That should not be good, right? You're making a liar out of me, man. I swear they, they were supposed to have bad with him. This guy does. Hold on, hold on. No way. Yeah, most of them do. Yeah, you can see. I'm not just talking out of my ass. Most of the enemies on this map do have bad with Olin most of the time. I guess it's not always, though. And this guy actually has good, which is terrifying. Hmm. But as you can see, Volantis is coming up right now because he's super, super, super fast. Now, do we have good with any of these guys? Because that would help. Oh, we have best with this guy on... 
on you. So I can disable him most of the time. But he's also my best target, and I could probably just kill him. What are your abilities, man? Dragon Spear? I don't really want to mess with that. And I think he just barely hangs on. I'm pretty sure that he does. Now, if this guy dies, that would be sort of annoying. Because, again, he has this really good stuff, though. He has the Thief Hat, which I must steal. He does not have... Hmm. I thought he had... Sprint Shoes. Which are a really good accessory that you can steal. Well, I'm stealing the Thief Hat and the Chocobo Gun at any rate. The Thief Hat is plus two speed. Mandatory, in my opinion. Because you can't even get these until Act 4. Otherwise. And the Chocobo Gun is rare. I think you can only get it by stealing. So we do want to get that. Now, I don't know if I explicitly stated how much damage guns do, but they do weapon power squared. So this has 12 power, so it deals 144 damage. Basically. And I guess it does less to Olin, because why? Wasn't he bad? Was he bad or something? I can't remember. No, he's not. I guess Olin just has defense up or something innately. I know he has some innate skills, because, like, he has maintenance. So, like, I can't steal the splash out, which sucks. Oh, maybe Olin had the sprint shoes. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, you can't steal from Olin, though. Otherwise, I would be. Make no mistake. I guess we can just uh, focus on dropping this guy, though. Yeah, he's going to be on very low HP. Oh, he's dead! <laughs> Bolanus is tired of this. He's tired of being the punching bag. <laughs> No more games! <laughs> God damn. So unfortunately, they can get a good chance to status us here. We do have Stigma Magic, so it's fine. She's gonna go down, but assuming we can still get a turn before her, it does not matter. We should. Yeah, that's what I thought. So Butts can just bring her back right now. And it actually should be her up next, because these guys must be slower in order to have not gotten to move like that. What I'm thinking about is throwing a frog leg right here, which will keep her the hell away from me. I guess we're gonna push around the right side. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Now, those ninjas are very fast. And I actually think some of them have an upgrade to knives. I think they have assassin's knives or toneberry's knives. I, f I forget. We should probably just look at them, huh? <laughs> yeah, let's do that real quick. She has magic attack up, so of course her elemental attacks are very dangerous. She doesn't have a whole lot of magic or really physical attack either, though, so that's pretty good for us right now. Yeah, this guy's Assassin's Knives, which, do they add Death Sentence, I believe? Yeah, they add Death Sentence. Now, Tom Bree's Knives are pretty sweet, because they're relatively strong. I think they have 10 attack, and they also have a chance to get dead. And if you give that to somebody with... Yeah, Olin must have an 8 defense up, because this guy has attack up. At any rate, if you give the Tom Bree's Knives to, like, a ninja or something with two swords, it gives you two chances to instantly kill somebody every time you attack, which is pretty sweet. Not that Velanus needs the help, clearly. This guy has his defense up. Okay, so he's going to be a little bit annoying. Maybe we take him out with a holy. Yeah, in fact, he has a bandit, so we'll almost certainly take him out with a holy. We have plenty of time here. Now, can a paralyzed do anything particularly great to you? 59% isn't horrible, but... What was that faith looking like? 57. Yeah, still, it's over a 50% shot on somebody with shaky faith like that, so that's pretty decent, I want to say. Yeah, Janique should be coming up. Or we should try to petrify him or something. I do have petrify. On your girl muffin. And for once, she might not actually be getting all of the experience here. Which is pretty cool. Uh, so. I think we want to try this petrify on this guy. Unless we have, like, worse with him or something. Let me double check that. Libra to Virgo. Perfectly fine. I think we can give it a shot because that guy has a lot of health. He has a lot of health, and we can also move up against this building, which will... I don't know, this, this kind of sounds like a weird thing to say, but it breaks the line of sight with him. That guy is immune to Petrify, unfortunately. But, we can go for a 50% chance to take him out of our hair for good. We should be well out of range of Janique. Actually, we're not, are we? I'm so bad. What is that? Oh, she has Holy herself. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not good. Do some decent damage. Oh, if I get a silence, though, that'd be pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. We can take this girl out with Milanis. Hmm. We're not necessarily doing too bad here. It's just that that was obviously a bit unfortunate. I'm going to go for it. Maybe we can get the silence on the holy chick. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, God, I'm so good. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. We can recover. Which is something that I did want to bring up, because I, I saw this comment a few times from a few different people saying that it seemed like a lot of these wins are luck-based. 
And I completely disagree. I completely disagree. I feel like a lot of these ones were well within my control. The, the big thing is getting that immediate control. If things go wrong, like, look at that. Now I guarantee that we win this battle. Sure, that was a 50% shot, but I didn't actually lose anything by doing that because I can counteract the damage that they're doing to me. The only one that we really lost immediately because of bad luck was the... <laughs> that's, that's amazing, though. That was good luck, I'm not gonna lie. But again, we could have come back from that. I have Butts right there who can revive me. Going down in this game is not immediately a game over unless it's Olan. Please, oh please, don't kill Olan. I cannot believe he didn't get damage split a single time. Not a single time. You're really gonna make a liar out of me right when I said it's not that... Oh my god. He's actually gonna kill Olan. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah, screw this game. He didn't damage split one time, did he? What? <laughs> Alright, so I take it all back. Yeah, this game is luck based. I was doing really well and then I lost. <laughs> Damn, the father. Well, you got me. I don't see what I was supposed to do about that, honestly. <laughs> Golly, put my foot in my mouth, why don't I? <laughs> Most of the time, you will not lose to RNG. That was atrocious. He had over a 70% chance every single time he got hit to get damage split and then just didn't. That's exactly what happened, wasn't it? I wasn't watching him too closely because it's usually not a problem, but... Wow. What? <laughs> well, that was not a defense map. In a game with infamously bad AI. <laughs> we could have easily handled that, no matter what had happened. Which we will probably be demonstrating right here as we more or less do the same thing and probably win. Honestly, on my life, I've never seen him be that stupid. I really haven't. He's trying to give Rafa a run for her money, dude. Did you see that? <laughs> he didn't even use his best move until it was going to get him killed. Honestly, I think that is the first time in my entire life that I've ever lost this map to Olan dying. That is no exaggeration. God knows it doesn't happen in the original game. Thank you, Olan! God, why didn't you do that last time? That's all he needed to do, and this probably would have been fine. Because now, we're gonna get a pop in. Although, this guy may attack him this time, which is probably worse. Why doesn't he just run towards me? <laughs> Come on, dude! At least he got the damage split, but... Man! And you can see how Two Swords sort of interrupts that whole strategy. Which is something to think about. Damage split isn't just super broken to the point that you automatically win by having it. It's just a very good skill. He's gonna go for the spin fist. I'm glad that this guy constantly runs in to do stuff that isn't dangerous at all, and that's really great. I definitely appreciate it. They're really just gonna dogpile Olin. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. He better pull through on that move. Or is he just gonna get shot? I actually didn't get a turn. I actually didn't get a turn. Why is this happening? I've never had this much issue. What? What? <laughs> I've never seen it before in my life, and now I've seen it two times in a row. What? <laughs> I don't care. This is still one of my favorite maps. I do not care. No, not at all. Definitely my favorite map in the original game. Just because this guy kicks ass. Usually, that's why I'm so surprised. He's easily one of the best guests. And yet he's... <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't understand. Please just come to me. I mean, he can't in all fairness, but just don't be an idiot. See, even that is better. Nice crit. I wish that would have just killed him, honestly, because I had about enough of this guy's shit. But with him coming around to the side like that, at least we have a chance. Yeah, there's the uh, equip armor guy. He can throw all the way over to me. Oh my god, we have best with that guy, surely. Nice dodge. Nice dodge, and I'll take that Dragon Spirit too, so it didn't really matter if they killed her, by the way, because of that. Uh, she's a level 4 Lancer already, thanks to propositions, so... That's why we're able to easily get that skill! My G. No, my G. It's a good thing Butts goes before him. We already know that from the first attempt, so that's fine. Now, Olan. Yeah, see, now they're doing nothing to him. Now they're doing no kind of damage, and he's actually getting his goddamn reaction. If he would have done that the first time, we would have won, surely. Hey, but what's life without a little bit of chance, right? Good, we caused him to heal. That's what needed to happen. I'm pretty sure my D was dead regardless of crit, so it's not as though <laughs> that somehow factors in here. Okay. 
How much HP you got? A little bit too much, I want to say. Taurus. Virgo. That's good, isn't it? Which means... He is very dead. <laughs> because we have attack up. Hell yeah. Sylvanas back at it again. This should do more than 80... Yeah, this should do more than 80 per hit. So you are done most of the time. There we go. <sighs> now, ninjas are technically a little bit worse, but it's not as though they're useless, clearly. <laughs> now, it would be a little bit annoying if my sage wanted to get silenced, because that means I'm going to need to expend two turns here sooner or later. But we don't. Cool. Cool. I may want to try something similar. Oh, my G missed his turn? Oh, man. Oh, man. Do we get him back? I think we get him back. Yeah, we'll get him back and then we'll just wait. Save that CT. And now hopefully... Well, if nothing else, this is a demonstration of the whole we can come back thing. Because I didn't lose or anything like that. Certainly not on the spot. So that's a 65% chance to get rid of her entirely. Uh, she has decent faith, so that's what's going on there. I just want to see if there's somebody else we can get. This guy, probably. Well, honestly, oh, she can do so much to him because of the best compatibility, but she only has an axe, so it's going to be slightly random. Don't know if that's necessarily a good move. What are the chances of frog? 60 percenter. And who's coming up? So if I move here and throw the frog too right here, right here, she'd have to move into range in order to hit my G. I mean, she can hit me, I guess, but this is what we want to do. Has a good chance to disable one, and it also keeps her the hell away from my G. She has no choice but to charge this much slower, holy, and we can recover from that because Butts is going to move after your girl, so it doesn't really matter too much what he wants to do. And honestly, at this point, I think we're just going to smack him for 144 or more, potentially. Hopefully more. 240! Oh, look at that! Look at that! So sometimes axes come through. Sometimes they come through really, really nicely. I think she dodged, unfortunately. Maybe. I don't know. Did she? Sure did. Ah, come on. Chips is almost done, though. And if he wants to go after her again, it doesn't matter. Because she's just going to revive herself. So she can die. Whatever. She has a re-raise. But I really want to say that Velotis will come up before... Oh, wow. Olin might just kill him. There we go. Goodbye. So now we're doing good. But yeah, I want to say Valanus will come up before that priest. So it's whatever, really. Not priest, Geomancer. And he can, if not drop her, do enough to the point that anybody else can do it. And with Dude coming back any second now. We should be looking really good here, I want to say. This guy, though, I still need to steal from. He shouldn't be able in range to do anything crazy just yet. 61, 61, so it's a tie, but Butts will come up first if I really want that. Taurus to Libra should be just normal, I want to say. Yeah, it is. Well, we can drop her to crit easily. Yeah, we can easily bring her down to crit. This is actually bad, isn't it? Yeah, that's bad, so we're not doing that. We can drop this girl to crit, though. What's yours? 38, so you'll be back in a little bit. Jump all the way up here. And maybe we even get a critical, which wouldn't be too bad. I feel like I deserve it after those two failed attempts. <laughs> if you could call them that, I don't know if you really want to say I failed. The game failed me, more like. Yeah, I didn't think I could get up there. Is there any way that I can? No. No, I didn't think so. But, do I have a high potion? I actually don't. Hmm. Because she'll go before me. Pretty sure. Although, maybe Olan will... Hold up. Oh, yeah, Olan's going to get her, isn't he? Oh, man, oh, man, because she's the only one coming up here. So I will pick up. Yeah, we can pick up Muvin, like so. So you can see, though, even though they were technically able to put us on the back foot a little bit, just like that, we've come back. Just like that, we've come back. And since the AI feels like playing along this time, that is one thing I will say, and that has always been true about tactic. Oh, see, I say they're playing along when all you had to do was shoot her, but hey. That is one thing that has always been true about tactics, though. The damn guest AI. Oh, God bless. She's going to choose to heal herself instead of dropping two of my characters, which she could have. 
I mean, again, the AI always heals and does things like that in a certain way, so that's not really that surprising. It's just that it's very useful. It's very useful. And I, I guess... I guess a lot of... Hmm. Hold on. Yeah, that's what we want. I guess a lot of my surprise with the... With how the AI works or like how they act sometimes is just more due to the fact that they could have so easily done something more threatening and then they just don't. But keep in mind that they have they have habits. Like they'll do the same thing every time uh, in a certain situation. But there is some randomness to this game. Can I hit you with anything? Yeah, I can sleep him at least. So there we go. But yeah, there is some randomness to this game, which is why it seems like sometimes the AI just randomly does this or that. For example, if they have a certain amount of faith, they may go for a magical attack because they can kill you, but the next time you play, they have slightly less faith so they can't kill you, so instead they do something else. But if you were to meticulously check that sort of thing ahead of time, I assure you that you would come up with very similar results. It's just that it takes a little bit of, uh, like, meta knowledge or, like, specific mechanics of the game. Like, even beyond anything that I've been doing to really exploit the game to its fullest possible potential. That said, hopefully you can see that Leviathan is not the only thing that needs to be done. And finally, three attempts in, Olin does his goddamn thing. <laughs> so this move is awesome, but it is nerfed in 1.3. So keep that in mind. Does it hit anybody? It only hit the one guy for don't move. So in the original game, right, that move right there, Galaxy Stop, it would try to hit every single enemy on the map, as it just did right then. It would try to hit every single enemy on the map for stop, don't move, and don't act. But the difference here is that it only rolls one hit. In the original game, it rolled three hits, one for each status. So it would roll a hit for stop, or roll a hit for don't move, and then roll a hit for don't act. Uh, here it just rolls a hit, and then if it does hit, it'll pick one status. So it is nerfed. I don't necessarily know that it needed to be. Well, no, let's be honest. The way it was in the original was batshit insane. No two ways about that, I'm afraid. I don't think I can hit her. I don't, so I'm going to start picking this guy clean, I think. But yeah, you can see status control is also a very effective way because we... Well, on the one run, we had a nice petrify go through, so that was pretty useful. Uh, I can also try to kill this girl. No, I'm not close enough. Oh, she got hit. I didn't see her. Yeah, she got hit with the don't act too. So yeah, we still got two people with that, which isn't too bad. Considering it is nerfed, again. Now, you still spawned with your sweet stuff, right? Yes, you did. We need the... We need the Chocobo gun, and we need the Thief hat. Now, he always spawns with those, but as you can see, the rest of his stuff is slightly random. 50% shot. I'll take your gun, please. How? You were asleep. <laughs> Golly. Not like it matters. This map is very well controlled at this point. She's going to go for a life, it looks like. But I don't know if that's going to save her, man. How much are we doing to this girl? Probably not a kill. To be fair, she has don't act, so I can, I can take all day to kill her if I want to. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> I know I said I love this music, but just keep in mind it plays twice. Which is just my luck, right? <laughs> the one track that I just think is awesome. Well, I say the one track. Really, this game has a really good soundtrack all around. But one of the better tracks, I would say, plays twice. Only twice. Don't care if she likes this guy, we can instantly kill him. Look at where he's at, man. Look at all these gods that are right around him. So it wouldn't have mattered had that hit, or if it had missed, it does not matter. In fact, Olin can just do it. If he wanted to. Oh, he's gonna kill her instead. That works too. Goodbye. And I just, I don't see any way for them to come back. I really just don't, because I'm pretty sure Spirit Surge just instantly kills him again. Uh, he has low faith, but we have good compatibility. Yeah. As I say. Unless something really wild happens with that, I guess. Now, Taurus to Leo. Again, we already said that was bad, so maybe we don't go in with you first. But this this Geomancer chick has me a little bit bottlenecked. So I guess we can start punching this guy to death. Oh, he has a bandit. That's right. That's right. So we'll blow him up on the next turn with my G. That's my fault. Maybe we can just petrify him right now. Or petrify her right now. Let's go for this. And failing that, we can still get ourselves chakrat right back. So, hopefully, there we go, goodbye. And if she wants to be stuck in this revival loop, so be it.
<laughs> the only thing that sort of sucks about this is that Olam can easily try to kill that mediator. And she's done. So yeah, status very effective. She can't come back. It's much harder to clear that than it would be a KO, basically. Now, Olan, stay the hell away. Just galaxy stop these clowns. Please. Please. Alright, let's just try to get this beef hat and jokeable gun. Come on, dude, you're asleep, I thought. Must be a sleepwalker. Now, I know what you're thinking. Man, Olin would be sweet once you get to control him. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> he would have been, I agree. No, 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 no. Weapon, 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 weapon. Because if I steal his hat, then Olin can kill him. So we'll take the gun first. And we actually got it, which is great. Hold on, don't do it. Don't wake him up. Good. Just, yeah, just stun lock him, man. Just stun lock him. Or use my mega potion. That's cool, too. She was in a lot of danger, I agree. With the one sleeping guy, the other guy stopped in place. For all time. Take it. Yeah, that's the thing with, uh, with Axe They can do up to... I want to say they can do up to double damage, but they can also do as low as whatever their weapon power is. So like an axe with 16 power could do as low as 16, but it can also do twice what the damage displays. So they're very random. Again, let's use, use like charging skills to get around that. Or, or skills that only take into account the power of your weapon and not their other properties. Something like jump would get consistent damage off of an axe, for example. I mean, we have two chances, I think. Two chances, come on. Yes! Because Olan would have killed him. <laughs> like, make no mistake. I guess I can just keep healing him, but I only have so much MP. For some reason, I sent butts the wrong way, so, uh, whoops. Just kill him, Olan. Get the proc. Aw. You just know if I hadn't gotten the thief hat, he would have for sure gotten the proc, though, right? <laughs> we all just accepted that's how that would have went. Now, I guess I am glad that he doesn't have the sprint shoes, because there's no way I'd be able to steal them with Olan the God over here. Jesus. Well, with this guy, we can just... Uh, he, he's so dead. He's incredibly dead. I'm pretty sure I could have just one-shot at him. Yeah, I could have literally taken him out in one hit. Look at this. Goodbye. That's why the Whale Whisker is so good, by the way. Because <laughs> it is entirely unfair. And now that the one guy we don't care about is the only one remaining, instead of choosing to attack, he will now run away like a bitch and use Galaxy Stop. God damn you, Olan. I hate you so much. But it does not matter. This guy can't live forever because we have Elemental. Now, if I miss this first one, he's also going to get Class of Aid, but we don't, so it's whatever. Not worried about crystals. Olan wouldn't let me get them anyways. So, there you go. Map clear. Congratulations. That was bullshit. <laughs> I can't believe he died twice! I've never seen that. Never in all of my life. I've been playing this game since I was like seven. Like, for like 18 years, 20 years almost. And I can honestly say that that has never happened. <laughs> never a single time. Because he is just so beastly, how could it? But I guess this is 1.3, clearly. Are you alright? Thank you for saving me. My name is Olan Durai. What's yours? My G Bayo. Huh. Is something wrong? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Where are you going, anyways? To Lazalia. If you're going that way, we can go along. Please. Please. Too bad. The game would be over if I did. I'm going the other way. Thanks for the offer, though. Well, be careful. You too. <sighs> what could have been, though, man, right? <laughs> he would have been so good. Just pair him with his dad and the entire game would have just stopped. That's that's probably why you can't, because you can get his dad and that would just be... <laughs> it would be really unfair. I'll see you later. Stay alive till then. Oh, uh, yeah. Ominous, right? So we did recognize this, but we're not entirely sure why. That said, I know it probably wasn't that long for you guys, but it most certainly was for me, <laughs> considering all the different crap I had to do, so we are going to call it right there. Assuming no more story? Okay, cool, no more story. So, that said, next time we are going to go on to Lazalia, Imperial Capital. Probably do like two maps next time. Probably do like two maps next time. I think it would probably work out best that way because after that we have to do a three-piece, a three-piece three sequential battle, that is. So, until then.
Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like. Waiting helps me out. Let me know your thoughts as well, and I will catch you guys next time. See you then. Peace.